with the sweep tonight by the Cleveland Indians. The Boston Red Sox were eliminated from the postseason. And by extension, one of the great careers in Boston Red Sox history came to a close. Big Poppy, David Ortiz, is now officially retired from Major League Baseball. And Cooperstown awaits him. Uh, it's funny to me that you've had some people question uh, whether or not he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, I think Pete Rose a couple months ago said that he thought that he was a borderline lower tier Hall of Famer. And um, I think a lot of this comes from the bias in the league toward designated uh, hitters. Uh, for much of his career, David Ortiz was a designated hitter. I think earlier in his career, he was a first baseman with the Minnesota Twins. But it's funny. You know, you have Ortiz, right? And I'm looking at his numbers right now. He has more hits than Mickey Mantle. He's hit more home runs than Ted Williams. He has more RBIs than Kyle Ripken Jr. You know. He has a higher batting average than Reggie Jackson. Yet, people are questioning whether or not he's a Hall of Famer. He has 541 career home runs. Alright. And... I, I don't get it, you know. I mean, he has to be, wow, you know, he has to be probably the most, I don't know, I guess I'm making up a word, but he's the clutchiest player I've ever seen in my damn life. Now, people can talk about past drug usage, okay? Um, I'm going to say this about David Ortiz. Yes, he was tied to that, uh, that list of players back in 2002 or three it was one of the two that supposedly tested positive for uh, PEDs. But what the media doesn't say about that is that many of those players uh, tested false negatives, false positives, excuse me. And some of them were like testing positive for, you know, certain substances when in reality it was a false positive many of these guys were like you know taking like vitamin supplements and for some reason it was registering that they were testing positive for illegal or banned substances and ever since then Ortiz has never you know uh, had any problems with STD not STD excuse me I hope he doesn't have problems with STDs uh, PEDs and um, I'm not going to try to sully this man's career, you know. From, from in my opinion, he's clean. All right. I'm tired of people always trying to denigrate certain players, but then other guys like Jason Giambi gets get a pass and shit. Nah, fuck that. So in conclusion, David Ortiz will be a Hall of Famer, whether you like it or not. And I mean, his resume is incredible. I mean, I'm looking at. The 286 batting average, that's solid. 2,472 hits, 541 home runs, 1,768 RBIs. He played, what was it, 20 individual big league seasons. He's a 10-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion. He was a 2013 World Series MVP, the ALCS MVP. The AL, he won the AL Hank Aaron Award in 2005. Six times he won the Silver Slugger Award. Seven times the Edgar Martinez Award. Three times led the AL in RBIs. He was the AL home run leader in 2006 when he blasted 54 home runs. I mean, his career is incredible. He's one of the greatest Red Sox of all time. And happy trails, David Ortiz.